Uh, Keith, everything but the goal, I think, probably shaded it over the 90 minutes with a couple of chances for Barrow. Yeah, um, generally, um, my first thoughts are pleased with the performance. Again, without the ball, uh, there's a real understanding and structure to what we're about. They had a couple of chances. They had a spell, probably about 15 minute spell in the first half, that um, we struggled to deal with the long kick. I mean, you, you've got to respect every team's different. There's different ways of winning football matches, and their keeper's obviously got a long kick, so you, quite rightly hard to use it. And it was, um, and, we, and for a little spell, we didn't deal with it very well. And um, they got the, the ball wide, and then they got a couple of crosses in where they had a couple of opportunities. Um, I thought we started the game really well, really good, really positive. Um, we turned them, we, we played, we created opportunities, got the crowd going. It was great, it was a great atmosphere, really, really enjoyable. Um, when you have your good spells in games, that's when you've got to score. And, um, and then we had that 15 minute spell where I said to them at half time, you have to manage the game because no one dominates for 90 minutes, no team does. So you'll have your good spells, hopefully you score in them spells, and when you don't have your good spells, you've got to make sure you don't concede. And we were a little bit fortunate first half, um, but second half, once we got going, I thought the, the energy, um, the way we moved the ball, there was only one team really going to win it. And it was just a matter of whether we could finish the chances that come our way. And we were so, I mean, you hit the crossbar, um, we had enough opportunities to win the game. So I'm really pleased. I mean, it's been a really good week, um, three good performances, but frustrated that we, we've not scored and really deserved three points. How frustrating is that, Keith? Because it is the key bit of the game. You've said it yourself, that the strikers get the money because they score the goals. How frustrating is it to see the work, see it all progressing as you wanted to, but not finish it off? It is frustrating, of course it is. It's frustrating for everyone. The fans, the players, they're not meaning to miss. Or um, The good side of it is that we're creating opportunities. We're passing the ball. We're, we're mixing our game up well. We don't just pass out the back for the sake of it. We pass to try and create problems for the opposition. So that side of it, I'm really pleased with. Um, we're getting balls into dangerous areas. I'll, I'll have a look at the stats, but it'd be interesting how many crosses, how many balls we've got into the box. Um, I, I, I didn't realise that we was going to swap shirts during the game. I mean, I, I, it's three times the referee, and that you could see it, I could see it from the touchline, that they're pulling our shirts that, and they're saying to me that it's not enough to interfere with the game. Well, there was twice that they weren't even looking at the ball and they're pulling our player's shirt and they're stopping us getting on the end of the ball. So how is that not interfering with the way the game's going? So. I'm disappointed that we didn't get a decision go our way, but you have to get on with that. Um, but generally, I'm really pleased where we are. It's been a good week. We're not the finished article by any means, but there's more confidence in the group. Three clean sheets in a week is, is a great foundation, and we've just got to get better at what we're doing. I will push you on that shirt pulling thing we've seen a still image it's never conclusive but Tristan Abrams was never getting to the ball in the penalty situation that we felt was a penalty what did you see of that I've seen well I, I saw the one in the first half on Brennan I've seen that video and without a doubt he's pulling him back from getting the ball and then the one with Tristan um, you could argue we're, we're maybe pulling as well but our players are trying to get to the ball there's a difference their players aren't even looking at the ball so they're stopping the opposition getting to where the ball is, which for me is a foul. You've touched on this, the way we're passing the ball around the back through to the middle, to the back, staying patient. That's the identity starting to develop that you're talking about. Well, it's, it's both. I mean, if, if teams come against us and, and pressure us really high, then you have to play past the press. So you have to manage the game. Um, and I felt first half we started really well, mixed our game up really well, lost our way for a little while. In the second half, I thought we looked at fitter. I thought we moved the ball, recognising where the spaces were, and the spaces were wide. And um, we got into them areas, and it was just the, um, the end product that was missing. How far have we come since the real concerns you did have after Northampton to where we are today? Um, 
Well, the concerns still are that we're not scoring enough goals because you can do all the stuff we've just spoke about, but you only win games by scoring goals. So that's, that's obviously a, a problem. But the way we're going about things, I'm pleased with. They're, they're listening, they're trying to implement what we're doing and it's given them confidence. I felt the crowd were great today. They could sense what we were trying to do. So, if you like, the whole package, I think, has got a direction to where it's going. But we have to, <laughs> you've got to win football matches. I'm not stupid enough to sit here and say we're great. Um, we've got to find a way of winning football matches. And, that, and that's what we're trying to do. Around 6,000 Carlisle fans, they were brilliant. That shows the potential that's here. No, it, it honestly, it makes, I, I love it. I stand in there, I can hear the crowd. It gives you a real buzz. And I, and I wanted the players to, I was quite pleased because I wasn't sure how they was going to react to a bigger crowd, but I felt it inspired our lads, um, which is good. So the players recognised the fans getting behind them and, and the fans recognised that the players are, are, I think, giving their all to try and win a football match. Is that Clough going off? Was that one of those concussion situations that we just have to look after the player? Yeah, I don't really know what... Um, it was some sort of, yeah, head injury. Um, so, yeah, obviously losing him early is not, not good, but um, it gave a chance for Brennan to come on and, and Brennan affected the game. And Joe Riley, boss, what's the news on him? He's still got a, a sore foot, swollen foot, so we'll see how that settles down in the next couple of days. Um, he might need to have an X-ray, like a scan, just to make sure it's all clear. And finally, from me, boss, I can see it in your demeanour. There is frustration there, but you must once you brush all that aside, there's a lot to still work on here. Yeah, I'm not brushing it aside quite yet. Um, it, it'd take a couple of days um, because when you do a lot of things well and you feel that you deserve that, that's the frustration. Sometimes you you draw games where you're sort of holding on, aren't you? And you're like quite happy for a draw. Um, but our mindset has to be, we, them draws have to be wins. So, uh, but I'll, oh yeah, we dust ourselves down the next couple of days and ready to go again.